I'm going to ask you very politely, calmly, and nicely to get out of bed! Fishing Adventures here. So it's been a crazy week, hence why I ain't been out yet. Um, just moving stuff from one house to the other house. An hour's trip in between. All big heavy stuff. Had to move some of the business stuff as well. Just been a bit of a nightmare. I've been absolutely shattered every night as soon as I sit down. I sit up and gone, I'm asleep. But I made an effort. I'm going to take a day off from all of that lot and we're going to go fishing. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to Long Strand to some of the local spots that won't be local spots anymore and see if we can get a few fish. So I'm going to be fishing them on a weekly basis like I would normally now because obviously I'll be an hour and a half the other way. Bear with me a second, I'm just going past some dog walkers. Yep, yeah, so obviously me locals are going to be up here now. So I'll show you some of them as well when we start fishing. I well, just for today, make a bit of an effort. My hay fever's playing me up like mad, so if I'm a bit sniffly, you have to bear with me. I've been like it for weeks, nothing I can do about it, I'm taking all the tablets and stuff. But yeah, so I'm on my way over to get my fresh water gear today. Got no chance of doing any sea fishing, the weather's absolutely terrible. The beaches are just getting washed into different shapes and stuff. Sea's really rough, so we're gonna do some windy fresh water fishing. Hopefully, I'll be able to tuck myself out in some little places. I'll go to some little hot spots, and we'll see if we can pull out a few fish. You'll probably see behind me, I've still got some of my gear in the back here, some of the stuff I need up the other end. But I'm gonna go pick it up, and I'll be full to the roof. I pick up all my other gear, well, not all of it, but some of the other gear, and I get to the other end. Right, so I'll get hold of some gear, get it all loaded up, I'll bring you back when we get to our first destination. So, let's see what we can catch. Woohoo! Uh, I'd also like to just say thanks very much for all the messages and stuff that people send me, saying how's things going and what am I up to. Am I okay and all that sort of stuff? Obviously most of you know we're doing a big old move. It's basically two houses to one house and a business. So it's going to take time. It's already took oh, two, three weeks. It's probably going to take the same again. So obviously I can't go out and fishing as much as I'd like to. But since we're all settled down, I'll be going all over the place, trying out new spots, walking up and down rivers, out on big broads, all sorts of different sea fishing locations, etc. etc. New lakes. Yeah, it's going to be really good fun. But we just got to get this move over and done with. Which is, as I say, it's a bit of a nightmare. There's a lot of stuff, a lot of cars, etc. etc. But enough of that. So today we're off fishing. First of all, we're going to go for one of my bridges, I think. We're going to have a go for some chub and trout, see if we'll stay in there. It's going to be crystal clear this time of year, so it makes it a bit harder because you've got to try and creep out on the fish. And if they see us, uh, they're no spooned. It's normally very hard to get away after that. But we'll certainly do our best. And if that don't pay off, we'll move to another spot. And we'll 
go from there until we start catching some fish. You know me. If I go for a day's fishing, then I pretty much don't go home until I catch some fish. And hopefully we'll catch more than one fish. We do most of the time, don't we? Then we'll go and grab some bread, a uh, tub of maggots, and go from there, really. It should give us a good chance of getting a few bites. Set up a float rod, we can have a bigger rod as well for later on the bottom if we need to. We'll just sort of go from there, floating crust, we'll floating bread down the streams and stuff, works pretty well. Conditions today absolutely brilliant, skies are all overcast, looks like it's 8 o'clock in the evening, and it's actually only 12 o'clock lunchtime. So They'll favour us, so that'll be good. So let's get some bait, get the gear in the car, and I'll see you at the first bridge. So we just popped into Latham's, which is at um, part of Himes on the Broads. Got myself a point of mixed maggots. That'll get sorted, I'll go and grab some bread in a minute. And I'll head my way down to the Walsong Stratton. Just thought I'd let you know where I got the bait. I'll spin you around and give you a little look. This is pretty much where I am. Not a bad little shop, they've got you know, bits and pieces that you need. Just down near where the boat hire place is. I will actually fish this river at some point. Alongside this bridge and along here and all over the place. I just thought I'd give you a little sneak peek. If you look at my Instagram you'll see some pictures of where I've been going around the broads on little breaks and just sort of um, looking for spots. Found some really nice spots so I'll be exploring them fairly soon. Right so I've got an hour's drive now so I'll turn you off and I'll bring you back again once we get some gear in and we head towards our first spot. Whew, well, we're all loaded up. Probably going to be the last time we load up with fishing gear from Long Stratton. So, shut the doors. Whew. Let's get down to our spot. Oh. God, the noise here compared to where I live now. Unbelievable amount of traffic. It's lovely and quiet where I live now. Whew. Just plug everything in until we're charging up on the way down. Right, so we'll head towards our first spot. And what we'll do is I'll whack you on the time lapse at the beginning here. And then when we get nearer the spot, I'll bring you back because I've had a few people saying they don't want me to fast forward all the all of the trip, they want to see some of the trip. So I'll start adding some more of the trip back in. Alright, let's do it. Let's go catch some fish. Woohoo! Driving on top 
my spot, so that's how we can find. No one's there, so that's good. I've seen a few people fishing it lately though, so hopefully they in took the trout home, because I always put them back. But obviously some people take them home for dinner. Popped up. Oh, it's looking very different to what it normally does. Everything's all grew up again. I'll give you a little look before we get set up. Just so I can have a little look as well. So let's go have a look. Side first, so we'll stand in. Well, the water's very clear. See a few fish dart then close to the bridge there. Never know we fish this side then. So let's go to the other side. Crystal clear as I thought. Hope the swans are down here nesting. Okay, so we're at the spot. Got a light Drennan Continental Carp Rod. Got a Drennan 7 series reel with six pound line on. Loaf of bread. Tub of maggots. Wrigglers, <laughs> mixed in color. Got the unhooking mat. Got a landing net. Now, it's a case of seeing if we can catch fish down there. I've got a big hook on to start with because I'm hoping to get something big. But we'll see how it goes. Right, so we're all set up. Let's get a chunk of bread on, run up through, see if we can get a fish. You'd be really happy to get one first cast. You never know though, do you? Gotta be in it to win it. Sometimes it takes a little while to get them going. Other times you get one straight away. So let's see. Hopefully the flow is gonna take the through. I'll bring it around this side and show you what I'm doing a bit later on. Basically I'm just trying a piece of bread through. Sometimes it'll float, sometimes it'll bump along the bottom. Either way, hopefully we're going to get a bite. Oh, I can see fish jumping over in the deeper spot over the other side there. How big are is a different matter. They're probably much smaller fish, but we will check. Let's see if we can get one on the first cast. Oh, we're getting takes, but they're a little chub. I can see them chub and dace. So I'll bring you around here so you can see it happening in a minute. We'll just have a couple of trots through. Sorry about the noise on the road, but it's just one of those spots. Nothing you can do about it.
Yep, we're in. First cast. Lovely. Oh no. I don't believe that. There's only a medium sized fish. Probably in the twos. Trout or chub, not sure. But that's good news, at least they're there. I've got a much too big a hook on for hooking up any of the small stuff because we're not after that. Obviously, you just saw me reeling there, there's probably some weed. Well, not probably, there is some weed in the way through. It just didn't hook up very well there. Let's try again. It's good news that the fish are there though. Swan don't seem to be too bothered about what I'm doing. It's great to get a take on the first cast and hook up to a fish. But it's going to spook a shoal now. It's a bit of a pain. I have got a big hook on. Much bigger than what most people would use in here. That's just so I don't hook up to too many other sort of half pound fish and stuff like that. I'd like to get something four or five pound would be nice. We're going through the spot again where we had to take just now. Nothing that time. But that's to be expected. Because we obviously just played a fish through the swim and then lost it. Enough to move over so I can see me bait going through. I'll slide my bait a bit, so just waiting for a big splash now. And that grabs it. Hopefully. <laughs> so they could be down here in front of me, I haven't really looked over there properly. It's normally the smaller stuff there. through. Shame we lost one on the first cast there. Eh? Oh. Oh. Missing these, that's not good. We're getting takes though, which is really good. We're just not hooking up. Well, say we're not hooking up, we were playing one in just now, but we missed that one. But we know they're there. It's all good. I think like I said, the hook I've got on is probably way too big. I'm trying to single out the bigger fish, hopefully. Just hooking it through on the crust, basically how to do that. Just going to check out over here and make sure the big chub and stuff in sitting over here. Slag. There'll be some small ones here, I would have thought, but... Yeah, there's a few small ones down there. We're talking up to half a pound, there's nothing that's like two, three pound, nothing like that I can see. But obviously I can't see through the deeper part. But there could be anything. Right, let's get back to where we were. See if we can get one in this time. <clears throat> when the water is murky, you can get boats right down in front of you, but when that's clear like this, that's a lot harder.
fish taking it, but they're not big enough to engulf the whole lot. <laughs> we put maggots on my smaller hook on, I could probably get a fish cast, but it's not what we're trying to do. Yep, fish on. What we got? Didn't take long, did it? To be honest, I wasn't expecting it to take long. Don't think I'm going to need the net for this one. I think it's a... Uh, what we got? Oh, it's going for it, doing somersaults. The swan's looking. Probably thinking yum yum, give me some dinner. Trout and burlocks things. Not massive, but not teeny. Good start. Whee! Lovely. Let's bring the net round here. Ooh. Keep still, fishy. Keep still. It's a good start, exactly what we wanted. And what we'll do is I'll just bring it around so I can show you the fish in the net and then we'll slip it back. How's that for a good start then? That'll do me. Lovely fish. Lovely brown trout. No, I'm pretty happy about it. Of course, look at my face. You can see I'm tired, don't you? <laughs> you got to do what you got to do sometimes. And I'm happy to be catching a few fish. So, that's great. Let's get this one back. See if we can get some more. <laughs> right, so, I will bring you around and show you what I'm doing. In a little bit. Lovely start. Yeah, they're always a bit slimy, but I'm just gonna go and spook the shoal now. But we're not complaining. We've had a fish. It's a nice sized fish as well. Not massive, but certainly not teeny. Getting a bit of weed as we drift through. But we can deal with that. Alright, let's see what we can do this time then. This one's just looking at me. <laughs> Sometimes that's how it spooks the shoal off. Other times you just get another bite fairly quickly. So we'll see what happens. We think this is a bit over the top of this rod, but um, there's trout, probably eight plus pound in here, and chub six plus. So and you can imagine trying to get through these reeds and stuff, and all these obstacles on the bottom. You're not going to land nothing unless you've got a bit beefier gear. We come through the spot where we. Been getting a few takes, but I uh, doubt, doubt the fish are there now. They're going to have moved. Because we've obviously hooked a fish and landed a fish, so not complaining. What I'm doing is I'm drifting through and then drifting along the edge of the bridge. Hopefully, it's 
going to produce another bite, but we'll probably scare them off a bit at the moment. through this time. Without a take. You can't expect to get a take every single top through. That would be too easy. You never know, I always let it run right to the end of the, the run, what I call the run. And sometimes you hook up right on the other side there. Sometimes when you spin it through on the way back, you do it nice and gently. That'll actually induce a take. Which is quite cool. You want a lot, you just want little twitches coming through. So a little knock then. You see me bait again now. Gonna let it sit where it is because it's in a good spot. Just for a minute. Normally you've got a hard flow all the way through there and that's, there's only a little flow on the edge of the bridge today. Slack on the rest, which is a bit of a pain. I can't get through to the spot where I want to be. Oh, good fish just moved right through the middle there. Eh? Very good fish. Scared them off a little bit. There are a few fish moving about, so they're still there. I've just scared them off a bit. It's starting to spit rain, which is a bit of a pain, but we're not going to worry about that, we'll just carry on. Unless it absolutely pours down. Oh, I think I had a take then. That was a shame. Pretty sure that was a take. But there we go. Nothing I can do about it. There's definitely fish under there banging the bread that I've just lost. I think what I'll do is I'll go through one more time and then I'll come and get you and I'll show you exactly what I'm doing. So if you want to come and try the spot you'll know where, what to do and where to catch. They're not always here. Don't get me wrong, you're not just going to come and turn up and start pulling out loads of trout and chub, but when they are here, they're normally good size. I think over to the right there, let's say in the deeper pool there, 
There's plenty of small chub down there from what I can see. flow is just no flow there, it's really hard to get the bait to go through, it's hardly moving. It's good that it goes through nice and slow but that's hard to get it to go through full stop. Line's getting caught on stuff. better hopefully we'll get a bike going along here it's a good spot just trickling in underneath the road bridge now what you do if, if you hold your line like that that will gradually come across instead of going to the edge you want to be about a foot away from the bridge find as your bait will go under, that will disappear, you won't be able to see it anymore, but if you see a big splash, you know you better take. And you know if these fish take, if they're good sized fish, you'll know you better take because they just come straight out of the water. Probably could have got away with an even softer rod and getting our mate just holding this rod. <laughs> and they're sort of heading to the back of the bridge. Should be getting a take, sort of any minute now, really. Sometimes I do feed this up before I do this, but it's better to just put your single bits through sometimes. You do get a few takes all of a sudden. And they won't fill yourself up on your free offerings. Just holding the line now just in case I get a vicious take that I can't see. Sometimes your bread will sink and you'll still get a good take. You have to be pretty careful you don't end up coming out the other side of the bridge and getting snagged up, which I'm probably done now. I have not gone too far. So we'll start to bring it in. Let's see where we are. So this little railing like this, just gently coming in, spinning the bread round, quite often picks up a better fish. Stop every now and again, let it settle. Reel again. You'll know if your bread's still on or not because you'll feel the resistance. I can feel like I'm going through weed and stuff, I think. Oh, I had a good take then. 
Oh, no way. Had a really good take on. They're definitely there. I could probably just throw under there with some maggots on, but I don't think they'd take them. Not the bigger fish. The little fish down there would, definitely. Right, I'll get baited up and I'll come and get you and bring you around. And let you see what's happening from a different angle. So, I've got old here. <laughs> Bring it around. Try and set you up so you can see exactly what's happening. Just bear with me while I adjust you about a little bit. Basically going to drift under that bridge there. And hopefully you'll see a take as we go under there. We're just putting a bit of crust on, like so. Something like that, or we'll just float down. Just flick it out into the flow and what flow there is today. <laughs> like that. And we let the line pay off. As you can probably see it, it doesn't go where you think it's going to start with. But it works its way around. Sometimes you can actually get a nice fish right there where it is now though. Not where I was actually going for. We'll have a go. Strange, and one time I do it, that don't do a friend where I want to show you. <laughs> we lost the bread now, so I'm going to go up and take that now. Bait it up. Might chuck a couple of bits through just to get them to feed a bit more. Hope you can see where they're landing. Well, you probably can't see where they're landing, but you'll see them go through. And hopefully, we'll follow up with ours. This time, it won't get stuck over near the reeds there. <laughs> Come back and see if you can see what's happening now. No, you can't see the bridge yet, can you? Bread's now going through towards the bridge there. See that fish just come up and take the bread? There's fish there. It's 
I'll get them competing a bit more than what they are. And so there's a lot of smaller fish there as well, which we're not after. We might change the hook in a little while and just put some maggots on and catch a couple just to see what they are. I'm pretty sure they're decent chub. I've still fished here many times before. So I know me spots. And I know what's normally going to be there. The bridge's getting stuck on the corner of the wall here now. Which is not really where we want it. That's it. They're starting to move towards the bridge. It's exactly where we want it to go. And then bits of bread that have just gone on the bridge are now getting demolished by fish. So hopefully ours will be the same. So when you, once you've hooked a fish and played it through the swim, you've got to sometimes just let it settle down. Well, we've got a family of ducks coming through. Hope they're not going to take up my bread. No, 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 no. That was a shame. It was right in the right spot. But now the ducks have took, me, took the bread down there. <laughs> they're going to mess things up for a minute. All the fish under the bridge are really taken now. We'll just wait for these ducks to go and I'll bring you back in a minute. Fish are on. Hopefully you can see. They have a little trout by those things. We don't mind a few of these. Nice to just catch a few fish. Not a bad size actually. Oh, it's a bit bigger than the other one. A lot bigger than the other one. Well, yeah, yeah, a bit big. Whoa! Ah, oh, really? <laughs> nope. Lost it on the way up. Probably three and a half pound, I reckon. Shame. Try again then, they're definitely there. Trouble I've got, the net I've got with me today don't quite touch the water. I've got the wrong handle with me. So that's, I can't just drop them in the net, I have to just lift them slightly, which is a pain. <laughs> it's meant I lost that one there. You obviously see it coming in. Hopefully we'll be on again in a minute. Piece of bread going through is my piece of bread. That one actually took in the middle of the water and didn't even make it to the bridge. I think the ducks come through and scared them all out of the deeper water to the right there. That'll spook them off a little bit now. Lovely spot to fish, apart from the noise of the traffic. The only thing that's spoiler, otherwise that'd be absolutely brilliant. I mean, you. you as you can see, it's quite shallow down there. You could actually climb down there and stand there and fish under the bridge if you wanted to, but that sometimes pushes the fish out the other side of the bridge and you know, further up the river, so it's pointless really. I was getting caught with lilies again. No, not lilies, reeds. There it goes. It's going exactly where I want it to do now. Can we get a bite? We've just had a fish, so it's probably 
scared them off slightly. It's going through exactly where I want it to, but I don't know take yet. Oh, here we go. Fish on. Good fish. Oh, very good fish. Oh, hopefully you can see that happening all under the bridge there. Splashy, splashy, splashy. Oh, they always try and get in them reeds, hence why I've got the bigger rod. That's not actually that big a fish. Just playing, uh, just fighting really well. Oh no. Caught on one of the reeds. Come on. You can see the fish on one of the reeds. No, don't do that to me. Come on, I forget. I might lose the fish here, but I wanted to get back in the water because it's half on the reeds. Here we go. We're out again. Much smaller fish. Felt like a really big fish when I first hooked it. Oh. Whoa, 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 where's it going? <laughs> Where is it going? They go for all the snags. Calm down, fishing, calm down. Not a too bad fish. Not tiny. A bit bigger than what I thought it was when I was playing it through there. Your hooks are doing their job. Bring it over and let you see it. Okay, so we're getting a few fish. Here's a... Whoa, 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 whoa. You just want to put my mat down there, won't it? Ooh. Try again. Nice trout. So we're getting a few, which is nice. They're not bad size, are they? But I'd like to get one twice the size of that. It'd be nice, but we'll keep trying. It's so much fun because no? all the reeds and stuff, you've got to pull it out of the reeds, you've got to pull it out of the snags in the middle. It's just all good fun, but we're getting them out, we're getting a few out, and we're losing a few, so at least we're getting a few fish. Right, put this one back. All right, so let's have another go, see if there's any more there now. I can see some much bigger fish swimming about. There's definitely some five pounders down there, but I can't get away from these sort of two, two and a half pounders. They're grabbing the bread before the others are getting a chance to get it. They're obviously more hungry. But we'll keep trying. I'm pretty sure we'll have a nice one any minute. So I'll put it down there in the flow like that. Walk over to me bread and net. Keep paying the line off. Turn my rod upside down. Point it towards where I want it to go and then just keep paying the line off. Obviously watching your bread as it go through. Just in case you get a take before you think you're gonna. Which quite often happens. There you go for the sort of bite zone. Don't think there'll be one there at that bit this time because I just brought a fresh through there so it's probably moved them. One sticking to me rod a little bit which has been a pain. Oh just had a take oh and again no no how did I miss that? I mess about my line. That a huge take. Straight out of water, okay. So they're still there, even though we just caught one. Which is cool.
Try and smaller this bread down a little bit, I think. Down in the flow, take off a load of line. It's the line that pulls it round and pulls it through, so. Whew. Let's see if we can hook up this time. Got lots of little birds and stuff down there sitting there waiting for the bread to come through now, it's the trouble. They feed on the bread as much as the fish do. Just keep an eye on your bait as it go down through. Mm. Try and make sure it's a fish that takes it. <laughs> Pretty much. You're going through the bite zone again. On the outside of the bridge. Bridge moving a bit strange, caught a funny current there. That probably put them off a bit then. But should go as it goes under the bridge, hopefully. Go away birdie. <laughs> Got a little birdie eyeing up the bread. And they're going under the bridge. Strange for someone to come and try behind me on the bridge, that doesn't happen very often. Lost sight of my bread again now, so I'm waiting for a big splash. Hopefully. <laughs> the chap behind me has realised that you can't drive through. Too much slack line that time. Had a take. Alright, let's get another bait out there and see if we can get another fish. As you can see at the moment, all I'm fishing is bread. Oh, we'll do that, kick the maggots. Lid on me maggots. There's a couple getting out. We'll throw them in, see if they do anything. Here's your bread. Yeah, there's a little fish down there taking the maggots. Then. All right. You can't let your bread just run through like that, but you need to hold it because they just come smashing up at it. You need to strike again, really. It's hard to get your slack right sometimes. It's a lot easier if you get a bite this side of the bridge, but most of the time it's under the bridge.
boats there going under the middle of the bridge, gone out of sight. Yep, here we go, fish on. <laughs> oh, it's jumping under the bridge, literally leaping out of the water. Look at that one on the other side of the bridge, literally out the other side. Hope you can see this one coming in. Go for them reeds again. Every time. I can never stop them. Get out. Thank you. Good little fight in this flow. Quite a small one, this one, by those things. But they're all welcome. I always say that, but then it's because I'm way up on a bridge, so they look smaller than what they actually are. Oh, not a bad fish. Look down here on the mat. Hook just slips straight out. I'm going to whip it over to you so you can see it, and I'm going to drop it back in behind you. So we've got another one. We're definitely getting a film. <laughs> Big chunky bellies full up, I don't know if it's full of spawn or full of food. But it's all good. It's nice to get a few fish. I think that's fish number three or four now. Whew, so we're doing alright. We've been here what less than an hour. We've had four fish. Uh, I think we lost two. So we're doing pretty well with the time I got today. We're going to carry on for a little bit more, see if we can get a few more, and hopefully we can get a nice big one. All right then, here we go again. Unbelievable! Isn't it? I think I've only had what one trot through without a bite, I think. I think you just got to come on the right days. Keeping on the water quality and stuff like that. It's not all about just coming down and put it in the water. There's lots of stuff to it, but so I've been coming here a little while now, so I sort of know this spot. So plenty of people come down here and not catch. It's all part of fishing. See if we can't get another one. We'll be doing well if we keep pulling them out like this. Probably we can spook them off and down the river now. They move further back, as you can obviously see. At the moment the fish right under the bridge. You know, sometimes you can catch them right down in front of you. Birds back in there again. <laughs> so, normally you've got a lot higher current, so that just go flying down there, but today it's just trickling through. It's not very deep at all, so they can see everything I'm doing. But I'm not complaining, I'm catching. Half decent sized fish, aren't we? 
some people sit there on a fly rod all day long just to catch one of them so we've had a few not complaining really good be nice if we can get a chub to come up as well the big rubber lips and chomp the bread down but I'll be happy to whatever take it you can see there's plenty of dates down there so we put a tiny little hook on and a couple of maggots could probably get one across but rather catch the bigger stuff bait's going under bridge away from where I can't see it as I say just wait for the splash I wish it was luminous or something so I could actually see it go under. I could use some sort of float, but they seem to take a bit like this. Pig! Plane. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to feed some bread under and feed off some of the smaller ones. Because there's definitely plenty under there taken. See them all moving around now. But, you know, they're looking for it. There's plenty under there. But if I feed them off a little bit, not too much. Sort of ten pieces of bread, maybe. And that'll give you an idea of how many fish are under there. And then follow behind with these, with this one on its own, solitary. The line keeps sticking to the rod, it's a bit of a pain. And let some of that bread disappear a bit. And we'll come in with this one behind. Should be on its own. <coughs> Excuse me, should get a take. Pretty sure all that bread, quite a few bits of that are going to get taken. They normally do. Yep, yeah, there they go. Strange, isn't it? Whee, look at that, they're taking them. I don't know how well you can see that. I might have to do that again in a little while and zoom in for you and let you see them smashing at the bread. They probably took what one? Yeah, that's, that's, the four fish took a bit of bread now. Five. They must go through different to what they do on the hook. Do they go faster or got quite a heavy gauge wire hook on? I saw five takes on ten pieces of bread there, so I'm going to get one on mine. I wonder if I put a piece just under the bridge there and then let a load of bread go round it 
left it static whether we might get taken or not. That did then, Luke. Fish on. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, Jesus. They fight so well. Whether they're two pound or six pound. Swan's wondering what's going on. I reckon seeing all these fish splashing about. Hey! Hopefully, we've got that on camera there. Jumped clear out of the water. And they're trying to go around the back of these reeds. Oh, get out! <laughs> Using the current. Hell of a fight. Brilliant. Now, come we're doing between the two. No, 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 no. Don't snag me. Oh, 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 oh. Quite a nice fish for those things. No, 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 get out of them reeds. Yeah, lovely fish. Wish I had me have a net with me. Oh, this one's a clonker. Hopefully I'm going to be able to lift this nicely. We're breaking the line. Plonking fish. If I can get it up. Massive. This is what happens when you ain't got the right net with you. Absolutely crazy. Come on. This is unbelievable so fish. How my line it snapped, I don't know. No, 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 no. Oh! Snapped, but it's laying down there in the mud. Which is even worse. I'll quickly show you. I'm going to have to disconnect it. It's a big fish. I'm going to have to jump in and sort it out. Look at the size of that. That is a huge fish. Right, I'm going to jump in the water and get it sorted out and I'll bring you back in a minute. Right, I ain't got a clue how I'm going to do this, but I'm going to have to jump down and then find a way back up because I ain't leaving that fish down there in the mud. So, let's see what I can do. down. I think I've got to find a way of getting back up. <laughs> well, I'll deal with that in a minute. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Whew. Right, so I'm soaked. <laughs> but that's not a problem. Expect on that anyway. Won't be too impressed if I get over there and just flapped around and made it. <laughs> but I can't see, so I'm about to find out. Never been in there before, so hopefully it's not silty and nasty. It's going to be cold. Ah. Ah. Oh, it's definitely cold. Ah. Oh, 
away, Swanny. Off you go. Oh, it's still laying there. Good job I come down here. Oh, there's a lot of hard rocks there. Oh, it's a big fish. Very big fish. Oh, I got you. And we saved you. Oh. Now how am I going to get back up? It's a different map. I'm obviously going to scare all my fish away now. Mr. Swan is not impressed with what I'm doing. Definitely a good fish. Oh. Nope. <laughs> ah, my knees. Oh, got no energy. Oh, I might have to come up around there. I'll do what I've got to do here, yeah? because I might have to walk up and come up around the other side of the bank. I need to chuck me trainers and stuff up there. again it's quite shallow under the bridge ow 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 sharp stuff on the bottom here though but there is some steps over the other side there so never been under it before so it's different I hope I've saved this big old fish no doubt that someone else would eat it. Whew. Well, I want to start to walk halfway up a river and then climb over a fence. But well, that's all I could do. That's what I had to do. Right. Get rid of the mat. At least we saved the fish. All right, I'll spin you around and we'll get on the mat see what we got right let's pick it up it's a good fish very good fish oh <laughs> that's why I went down look at the size of that what a beast well over five pound exactly what we're looking for I had to climb all the way down the river for that <laughs> Walk all under the bridge, I'm absolutely soaked. I think that may be a fish that I've had before. Because it's got the mark down near the tail where or not, or something's grabbed it. What a booty. Look at that. Absolute beast. Let's get the thumbnail, shall we? Lovely fish. Yeah, really chuffed with that. Just wipe it down with a bit of water. One more look, and then she's going back. Yeah, baby. It's what we come out fishing for. Awesome. All right, I've got to get it back now. Laid out the water a little bit as well, didn't I say? I'll be back in a minute once I sort it out with my feet and 
got my shoes and that bag on, drawing myself off a little bit, and we'll have another cast. Whew, whoa, that was a bit crazy, wasn't it? What a fish, though, lovely fish. Six and a half pound that went, just over that was, but we'll call it six and a half. You had to jump down the side bank, walk all the way down the river under the bridge, climb up over a wooden fence because the gate was locked, and back round to here, all in bare legs, lovely. Stinging nettles and reeds and all sorts around my feet. Sharp rocks in the bottom. But it's nice to go under the bridge, I ain't been down there before. I wouldn't mind going down there with the old GoPro and putting it in the water, I think, at some point, and seeing what we can see. That could be quite good. But I'm going to stay like this now, I'm wet, so I'm not going to worry about it too much with my feet, boys. We're going to have another cast through, see if there's any fish there, but I'm probably scared most of them, to be honest. But let's have a go, shall we? Yeah, why not? Right, let's get another chunk of bread on and see what's down there. I think we'll do well to get another big one like that. But I have done it before. Oh, I lost my hook at the same time as doing that, so I didn't snap up. It weren't in the fish's mouth, though. Right, I'll quickly grab another hook then. It'll take me a couple of seconds to tie a new hook. Can pick up my trainers and socks at the same time. Right, so we'll have a different view for a little while, shall we? where I'm going, just under that bridge, down the side of that bridge. So let's see what we can do. Nice big chunk of bread going on. It's starting to rain properly now, it's a bit of a pain. Excuse me. Yeah, while well, you can see my bit of bread, that's a big old bit there. You should be able to see that going down there. Yeah, you've got a drift around the side there, down the edge of the bridge. I say sometimes you can get a bite where it is now, other times. You have to go right through. But, so I went in the water, so probably scared him off to be honest. But it was worthwhile for a six and a half pound to win. See the bread now entering the bridge. Normally you get a take around there, on the edge there. Oh, the fish just jumped under the bridge, so there's still, a, there's still a couple under there. That's good news. So I thought I had a bite in the last run through. Yeah, they're rising on the other side, I can see exactly where they are. Baits now going right under. Can't see it now, we're now waiting for a splash as usual. I'll try and let this one run right to the other side of the bridge. Come on, fishies. Give us another one. So I reckon I've scared him off to be honest. I know there's a few fish under there because I can see him, but they're not large fish. 
more than likely between a pound and two pound. Right, coming out right the other side of the bridge now. I expect to get a take there somewhere. If they're going to feed still. There's not much happening on there, I don't think. I think we've had the fish that are going to feed. But can't complain, we've done really well. I think we've had five or six fish now, haven't we? In the space of the... What, probably been here three hours, four hours. And to get a six and a half pounder, can't complain. Definitely not taking me back now, though. Bridge still on, so we'll reel this one through slowly. See if we can get a take like that. Quite often happens. <laughs> I'm not sure myself. Pretty sure that was a take. What's happening there? Oh! Oh, come on! That was definitely a take. I saw the fish rise and take it. Took me bread. Oh, what a pain. Right, I'm going to turn you off for a little bit and have a couple more casts. I don't want you just staring at the same thing all the time. And I'll bring you back on if we hook up to anything. Oh, wow, what a session that was. That was some lovely fish. We had to go in the river, walk across, rescue a fish, walk under the bridge, climb up a bank, climb over a fence, <laughs> through nettles, brambles, the whole lot. Got a bit wet, but we had some lovely fish. That's what it's all about. So not a bad session at all. So nice to get out and I'll get another session out very soon. So thanks for watching. Thanks to uh, all my subscribers and stuff for all the nice messages and stuff you give me. Thanks to the mods and the lives and stuff. And I'll see you very soon in the next video.